Hello Cancer and welcome to your February 2023 astrology forecast for Sun, Moon or Rising Cancer. And your Sun sign is what motivates you. Your Moon sign is more your emotional, private. So this is more subjective world. It's like you look at this from more subjective if you're looking at your Cancer Moon astrology forecast. And your Rising sign is your external world. This is where you can see things happening outside of yourself. So when you're watching these videos, that's how you'd watch them. There will be a link down below if you'd like a reading, as well as a link for appreciation of these videos. Now, February is a quieter month, meaning that all planets are direct since January. Good news. And they only start to go retrograde in April. So all energy is go, go, go. You might be feeling like something big is happening in February, though. Like, you know, you're on the verge of anticipation of something coming your way. Why? Well, because March has Saturn changing signs and Pluto changing signs. So we will be feeling hmm, something is coming. Something is coming my way. I can feel it in the air. I can feel this vibe. So that's what we'll be feeling. So go though forward with anything that you wish to move along with. On the fifth, we have a full moon in your second house. Now, the full moon in your second house, this can offer you opportunities for finance, of especially with the full moon, your new ideas, new things coming your way. You'll be reassessing your finances, reassessing your skills and talents. It's a great full moon to reassess your skills and talents, the rewards from what work you're putting your energy into and what are you getting? That's what that energy is really good for. That full moon wants you to complete anything. So this will be the time where, okay, I want to complete my resume. I'm going to send it out, right? And the opportunities come to you. What are you completing to bring the finances to you? And you'll be looking at your finances too and reassessing them and seeing what changes you want to make. What ways do you want to grow in? And also gives you opportunities with that full moon. On the 11th, Mercury is now in this 8th house. Right? And it's really asking you to look at your joint finances. Mercury will have you looking at, and what I mean by joint finance? People that we partner up with financially. And only people that we partner up with financially can be a partner, like a marriage partner or someone that you're living with partner finances or either someone that you financially do partner up with. And Mercury has you communicating, thinking and seeing and researching which way you can move forward. This is a time, especially with the eighth house, it can show you your fears, your insecurities, what is holding you back financially. Okay. That's the beautiful thing about the 8th house. It's a time where we look at, okay, what insecurities do I have? What do I need to let go of? And how can I move forward? So it will show you those things. It also shows you any hidden secrets. This will be a great time. If there's any information you want to find, you'll be able to find it with that energy there for the next couple of weeks. So it's not just something that's on the 11th. It's on the 11th going forward. And it's a great time to be more intimate and vulnerable and share with people that you are close to how you're deeply feeling and let those feelings come through. So like, you know, you might be sharing, okay, this makes me feel vulnerable and, you know, and expressing that to someone that you care about and looking for ways to make yourself feel more secure. And that's the energy that you're looking for there. It's a great time for sharing intimacy with someone. You know, about how you really feel. It's great for intimacy too in romantic partnerships. And if you're single, you might be communicating with people and sharing more vulnerable parts of yourself. So on the 18th, the sun will move into this ninth house. And on the 20th, we have a new moon in this ninth house. And this is great. This is expansion growth. What ways do you want to expand and grow? What beliefs do you need to shift? Beliefs are so important to expansion and growth. Let me just say that there. if you want to expand and grow, your beliefs and your mindset need to change. You cannot have outdated beliefs and want to be where you need to have a new set of beliefs. And the belief within self is where expansion and growth can happen. And it's a great time for traveling. 
It's a great time for doing different things, going to someplace foreign, a place that you haven't been before. Great for education and learning, anything that you want to learn. Great time for reading a book. Great time for watching even something where it can offer you a new perspective, a documentary. Very informative. You are learning and expanding and growing, and that's important for your spiritual journey. On the 20th, we have the Venus moving into your 10th house. Great. You're charismatic. People are drawn to you. At this time, it's great for your goals, it's great for your career, it's great for those opportunities. Venus is about love, yes, but luxury and beauty. Now, in the love sense, this is where you can be more responsible. What does that mean? Where your partner might be leaning on you more for some valid advice or not even just a partner, other people around you, they'll be looking to you. You know, what can you tell me to to give me advice on the situation. So that's the loving energy there. People look to you for your leadership's qualities, right? In the love energy, but more importantly, when it comes to your career and goals, you can definitely go after it with Venus there. It offers you opportunities for career, for goals, for opportunities, for success, and things that you want to work towards will be very fruitful for you. So have a blessed February. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe and let me know how you're feeling this February down below in the comments.